Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of It's All Relative. It has been a while since I uploaded an episode, um, about a week or something. Yeah, anyway, uh, guys, so here's the situation. It's kind of raining outside. I was going to go out and like, you know, film a raid or something because we can sort of go out and raid now. Well, I guess around my area, I do see people going out now, but uh, still taking it very cautiously, you know, stay safe guys, you know, social distancing are very important. One thing to update since last week, um, I managed to find a new shiny, brand new shiny I never had before and it was the most, let's just say I did not expect to see this shiny at all. So let me introduce to you my new shiny. So yeah, we have a shiny Teddy Ursa. Um, yeah, this shiny Teddy Ursa just came out of nowhere, I was going for a run and then suddenly it just appeared, that green colored bear. Mm, looks like gummy bear, you know? And you guys know what I do to gummy bears. I eat it. What are you thinking, man? Anyway, so yeah, we finally have a new shiny from last week. I didn't really have time to record uh, any of this episode since last week because I was quite busy with work and stuff. But today, we're going to be doing two things. Well, hopefully. Number one, hopefully we can raid something because I haven't raided anything in a while. Number two, I haven't done my Pokemon Go League ba Go Battle League Go League Battle Go Battle League GBL GBL I haven't done a Go Battle League since it started Yes, I'm the worst Pokemon trainer ever So what we're going to do now is that we're going to do a little bit of battling I didn't really begin much So we're still in rank 1 And with that said, let's get started uh, So we have battling Ultra League right now uh, I completely missed out Great League, so please bear with me. I'm not really much of a battler recently. I used to be for, during the first season, but now I kind of been slacking off. First ever Go Battle League in a while. Vaporeon versus, um, yeah, this is not going to go well. So maybe we'll just build up some energy first. Honestly, I never fought like Go Battle League rank 1 in Ultra League before. So this is interesting because I would like to see how is the skill gap in rank 1. Is there people who are still like professional at this you know or are they like newbies and stuff like that where they just use random pokemon they find in their in their roster yeah this is gonna be interesting to find out if i lose the first battle to someone that never does any go battle league ex doesn't have any go battle league experience and i am gonna be very ashamed i'm doing super effective to vaporeon so that's kind of good okay we're gonna shield this how am i doing super effective to vaporeon what skill do i have i don't even know what fast move i have for this guy it's been a while it's been a while like i said because we have Blast burn for this boy, yeah! Things are looking good. We're gonna burn this pincer alive. And a Rayquaza in great uh, Ultra League. Wow, that took a lot of damage. What? That Rayquaza was barely alive. Anyway, we took our first battle and we won. Yeah, well done. Well done, everybody. So apparently, I already won my second game and my screen recorder decided to kill itself. Well done, and we're moving on to our third one already. Why are things not working when it comes to electronic stuff? Like mainly recording stuff. Like sometimes my camera will stop recording, sometimes my phone will stop recording. Yeah, it's a very hard life. And here's a problem about rank one, is that it takes some time to actually find an opponent. There's a small chance that I could actually fight a rank three opponent when you're rank one. Look, it's it's... It's still going. Oh, okay. It's rank 1. I swear to god, I actually fought a rank 3 person when I was rank 1 looking for battle that took like 2 minutes to find an opponent and stuff. It was very weird. Okay, Pokemon Go, do something. Error finding matches. Yeah, like I said, this is gonna take a while. Okay, here we go. Finally, found someone. Okay, let's find out. Can we win our third uh, battle in a row? Typhlosion versus Gyarados. Is it Hydro Pump or something? Hydro Pump, okay. What's with the connection, man? Alolan Mark, guys, it's strong. Oh, perfect! We have Earthquake for this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Earthquake, Earthquake. All right. Game, set, and match. Okay, with that said, guys, we already defeated three battles in a row. Audio is rank one, you know. I'm not going to say it's a challenge or something like that. Uh, but it is interesting that some people are using quite okay Pokemon, you know given that it's rank 1 and we won all 5 battles yeah okay so I'm guessing we're gonna get a Metagross ooh a Snivy although I'm seeing a lot of Snivies right now because uh, this week there's a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon everywhere uh, Snivy, Tepe, Oshawa and stuff you name it 
So right now, you just try and get as many of them as you can so that you can evolve them during community day, you know. Obviously, we're going to be ranked 2. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. We're going to talk about this Throwback Challenge Champion 2020, right? So I already did chapter 1, which is to catch 15, uh, do 15 great throw, catch 15 Pokemon, and transfer 15 Pokemon. So yeah, that one was quite simple. It gave you a Galarian map, uh, Meowth though, so that's kind of nice. We can actually evolve this guy to a Perserker. So yeah, let's do that right now because I don't have a Perserker, you know? And you gotta evolve five Pokemon for this one. So chapter two is very, very interesting because you have to do 15 raids and catch 15 eggs. That's a lot, guys. But let's talk about this one first. Perserker, a brand new Pokemon. Very nice. Oh, yeah, guys. New Pokemon. That looks nice. Perserker. Maybe we'll use this in like uh, Ultra League or something. Shadow Claw and Play Rough is a steel type. It's interesting. It's a very interesting type. Though. We also call it Stunfisk. Uh, Stunfisk is going to be great in Ultra League. Um, it's ground and steel type, so yeah, when we reach the higher rank and stuff, maybe we'll use them. Anyway, let's talk about the challenges. Evolve 5 Pokemon, hatch 15 eggs, and win 15 raids. So, winning 15 raids is going to take a while. Yeah, if you use your daily raid pass, you're going to have to do 2 weeks in a row plus 1 day for 15 raids. And the downside is that because right now coronavirus still does not allow us to really go out yeah, for most countries and stuff. So, I think this challenge is going to take some people a while. Maybe it's time for you guys to see an update of my Pokedex. So here we go guys, Pokedex review, okay? So I already finished my Kanto, that one's a given. Uh, still got a lot of shinies I haven't had yet, so I'm not gonna go through each and every one, obviously, but we're just gonna briefly look through and stuff, okay? So Johto, I also completed every single one of them. Um, yeah, Heracross was the one I had to trade with. I traded with JT Valor, so I met him in Singapore during a Go Fest. Uh, yeah, I think it was a GoFest. Wait, was it a GoFest? I can't remember. And then, uh, here we go. Hoenn. Hoenn, I do not have everything, obviously, because there is something that is missing, I think. Hoenn 133. Yeah, I'm missing something right here. Uh, 1352, I think it's... Pokedex 352. Cacleon. So everyone doesn't have 352. That's Cacleon. And then Relicanth. Uh, that's one New Zealand. I don't have that. So yeah, two Pokemon off for Hoenn. That's fine. And this is the embarrassing part, so please leave all judgement to yourself. Uh, yeah, okay, let's continue. <laughs> I have not evolved a Bidoof to, to a Bi Barrel. Uh, all, one reason is because I'm waiting for a shiny Bidoof, and I love shiny Bidoofs. They are all golden and stuff, yeah. Uh, then there is Shieldon. I haven't evolved him to a Bastardon yet because I don't have a good IV ones. And Pachirisu, this one is a uh, regional as well, so yeah, let's move on. Bonsley, Bonsley, yeah, wait, no, that's not, but what's 439? Yeah, Mime Jr., so 439 is Mime Jr., then the Gibbo line. Okay, I have a lucky Gibbo, uh, it's actually a very good, very good IV one, it's just that I'm waiting for a shiny Gibbo before I evolve this. I don't know why, I, I haven't really had the time or like the opportunity to use Garchomp. I never used it in any of my lineup before, so that's why I haven't evolved him yet. I should really. And also Drapion. Drapion is a very nice one. I actually have one shiny Scorapi. Yeah, maybe I'll create one episode where I just evolve all the unevolved Pokemon. Because, yeah, then this one, Carv Carnivine. Carnivine, yeah, regional again. And moving on, down here, 472. What's 472? Oh yeah, 472, I haven't evolved a Gliscor. Wait, what? You kidding me? I haven't evolved a Gliscor? Okay, then I haven't evolved a Porygon Z as well. Yeah, you guys are judging me. I can tell. I can tell you guys are judging me. <laughs> Rotom. Yeah, 479 is Rotom. Then 480, until 482 is the Azelf, uh, Yuxi, those kind of trio. 489 is Fioni. And then 490 is Manaphy. Yeah, Manaphy. Then after uh, Darkrai is Arceus, you know. Okay, then Unova. Okay, this is embarrassing right now. <laughs> Okay, anything to do with evolution, I haven't really evolved them because number one, uh, I don't know why. I, I just have the sense of like, if I evolve it, right, then I will lose the candy to evolve a better one in the future with like exclusive moves like comedy day moves or something like that. You know, it, it's just, I don't know why. I just stop my, I, I, I feel like that's a blockage. That's why I don't evolve a lot of them. Like you see all these Pokemon like Drubur, I can evolve or I got a good one already actually. Rock, rock and Roller, I have a good one as well. Blitzo as well. Yeah, maybe we'll just do one episode. Just one episode of full of evolution. Like, all evolution just, you know, ransack the whole thing. Yeah, then this is... 
I only have 58 Unova Pokemon by the way. Uh, I could have easily gotten like 80 by now if I evolved every single one on this list right now. But Darumaka was one of the event Pokemon I did not get for that event. I think I was busy or something. Yeah, and then there's all these other ones as well. I managed to hatch this guy. This guy I only have one. I only hatch one. I also managed to hatch this guy, Archon, as well. And yeah, Garbodor, I haven't evolved him yet. Uh, then there's Gofita as well. Then I want to evolve uh, Solosis as well. Yeah, there's a lot, like I said. Let's move on the, down the list. Here we go. <laughs> Clink, all the way to Clink Clank, you know. And then, uh, yeah, Litwick, I haven't evolved one yet. Cup Chew to a Bear Tick, not yet. Oh, I don't have this. Is Cryogono. Cryogono right now is in raid, by the way. So if you don't have it, like me, go raid it when you see it. Um, Golet, yeah, into Golurk. Don't have that yet. Heat more, obviously, it's a regional right now. And uh, yes, Dino Evolution line, I do not have any of that. I think I don't have one more. It's Axew. I haven't caught an Axew yet. So. Yeah, as you guys can see, I if you're comparing your Pokedex with me right now, you can more or less see what I have and what you don't, what you have, and I can guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you, most of you have more than what I do. So you are a better Pokemon trainer than me. Congratulations, pat on the back. You know, give a clap for yourself. <laughs> I will improve. I, I promise. Okay, I'll just make one episode of evolution just to please you guys. Anyway, I'll conclude this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know what kind of episode you want to see. You want to see evolution episode or, or any other upcoming event kind of episodes, you know? So uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys.